um, hey you do I'm here to review two products Cortisone 10 plus and Cetaphil I like to start off on the bad note and on the good note so Cortisone 10 plus I struggled with a rash for about five months from June until now and nothing that I used worked for it it just got it worse and created more problems I went to the dermatologist and she gave me this oil based thing that did nothing to my rash but broke out the sides of my face so in trying to get rid of the rash I've got more rashes added more tiny bumps added to the rash as well as acne more that I got rid of I need some solutions now Cortisone 10 plus did a lot of reviews on it at least what doctors said about it most doctors excuse me most doctors that i watched videos about it said that um it was a miracle drug so with that being said i wanted to try it to make me happy but it did nothing at first I was flabbergasted and I was infatuated by the problem because I thought that it was working but it actually was doing nothing but spreading the rash as you can see I turned my face you see all those bumps there all that is rash and I have some acne which would have been clear if I didn't have a rash because I'm on retin-a right now I, I discontinue it discontinue it to my rash is done because all it's doing is irritating and spreading it even more it's not just on my face it's on my neck it's on my back my chest it's all over my body it's very annoying i don't know what to do so this did nothing okay um i'm ready to throw this in the garbage this cost me four dollars and i don't know why it's not working i'm very annoyed it's only been like the third or fourth day i've been using it and i discontinued it this morning because I noticed that I started to get acne and I didn't see anything benefiting from it. So I went on Derm TV and I tried to watch as much videos as I can. That's the dermatologist. You see, you see all of that. All of that is rash. So my and he said that skim milk and water half and half basic facial compressions can help the rash so I'm I've been doing that for a day or two and I haven't seen a difference I'm just gonna continue it for a month and if I still don't see a difference I'm gonna have to find some money somewhere to take me to the dermatologist because that's really why I'm avoiding trying to go back because it's like is so much money and um, I just hope it's not a health problem that caused this but it really started when my class had a trip and we stayed in a hotel and it's the Friday slept woke up the rash started at the sides of my face I mistaken the rash for acne so I just put my medication on it spreading it from the sides of my face to the front and transferring all the germs all over my face being stupid so that's why I had it so that's my first product I recommend anyone with oily skin I mean I'm not no expert but this has a lot of stuff I have to go find a lot of boxes there it has a lot of oil based things give me one second it has yeah this is the original box i just kept it because i felt like it's going to work where is it okay aloe barbadanus leaf juice aluminum sulfate beeswax calcium acetate cedar alcohol alcohol da 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 glycerin it has beeswax somewhere there too so it's I was happy that it didn't feel heavy on my skin, but 
it is oil based so anyone who has excess oil like your face is always greasy no matter how much you wash it you don't even have to put moisturizer on this is not a good product for you Can you see all that? It's like, this is so annoying. I I just hope I get like some answers, any suggestions. Anyway, first product is probably good for people with dry to combination skin, but oily skin people, or probably for rashes that like are more than a month or so, this won't probably do anything. Excuse me. Okay, my second product is set of full gentle skin cleanser now let me start with the bag with this product um it's kind of expensive okay this is eight ounces of product and i have to pay five dollars for this when i first saw the original price of the 16 ounce i put it back because i'm like i'm on a budget and i'm trying to buy stuff like for the house and I see this this thing for five dollars. It's like the pricing is bad, but I mean, it depends on how long this will last me. Now I'll see when this first bottle is done if it makes sense to continue using it price-wise. But anyway, that's small things. Um, it goes on. It doesn't foam. That's what I not sure if I like or I don't like. But excuse me. Nothing like a soap. I was originally on Dove and Scented Soap and that also contributed to me spreading my rash because soap is bad for rashes. It's irritated the skin more. At least when I came to America, the water, I don't know what's in the water, but it's like whenever I wash my face, my face goes completely dry and tight with the soap. So I don't know. So I discontinued on the soap. And I am on Cetaphil. Okay, it's like uh, it's odorless. I don't smell anything. You don't have to use a lot, even though I still do because I want to feel something on my skin. It doesn't irritate my skin. I don't have to put a moisturizer on because my face is crazy for one, but I'm gonna buy one anyway. And it's not like taking a lot of moisture out of it. So, what I can say is that. <laughs> the packaging is cute and this should last me for anywhere from six months to a year if it's less than six months I'm not sure if I'm going to continue using it but I don't use it over my body it's like it's so annoying with like my skin problems my face is doing is doing awesome but this came um, anyway yes yeah, so uh, what else got about the packaging is cute and um there's no coupons for it i hope i can get a coupon for it three dollars off the nine dollar thing but um it's odorless cute packaging is this one is small it doesn't feel heavy on your skin it i haven't seen an improvement in my skin as yet but in time here well, I know, huh? Definitely not coming off right now. Well, that's my two product reviews. I hope this helped you some way. Or something. But I really need some suggestions. So, if anybody can give me any suggestions, don't tell me go to the doctor because I just said that I can't afford that right now. Any suggestions to get rid of rashes. Because this is really annoying. I would prefer to have my gorgeous skin with no flaws on it, no marks, no acne, no rashes. This is an, uh, an annoying. In the morning when I wake up to wash my face, it feels like I'm touching sandpaper. Excuse me. So, any suggestions? Okay, thanks. Bye.